Good evening, guys. So, something interesting. You've heard me talking about the um, government surveillance aircraft for some time now. Um, I've shown you how to track those aircraft um, with the with an app, but I've not shown you any actual footage from those aircraft and how that footage may be used or, in some cases, misused. Um, now, this is just one example of the electronic um, frontier that law enforcement is now using. Okay, they um, they use these aircraft for a variety of things. Now, what I'm going to be showing you here are a couple of quick clips of video. And um, one of them is a news story. And the other is from uh, the armed fisherman in Florida who got video from the aircraft of uh, him in the field. And this is one of the few examples I, I've been able to find of them showing off their capabilities with this with these aircraft now the police helicopters and stuff are not even close to being as advanced as like the airplanes that the dea and the, the ice and all these guys use the, the aircraft they use are far more advanced than what you're going to see here this just gives you a glimpse at what they're capable of what they're actually capable of is much much greater than what you're going to see so i'm not going to waste your time let me get right into this and um, let me see, where is it? There it is. And I will actually be quiet while these folks talk. Hold on, let me X that out. But now his legal team is pushing hard on some of the evidence against him. A new court documents just filed. The defense says some of the FBI's surveillance tactics were illegal and a violation of Ali Al-Zahari's rights. His attorney described a, quote, secret spy plane surveillance program that gathered 900 video clips of Ali Al-Zahari. They say the spy planes had high-tech video cameras with high-powered lenses that could zoom in on people and places. Documents show he was followed, getting the mail, going to a medical clinic, visiting his sister, the beach, and work. The defense... Okay, so... Now we're going to jump over. You're, you're getting, a, like I said, just a picture. And they talk about the airplanes. This is a police helicopter, what you're going to see here. Again, this is from uh, Mike's channel, The Armed Fisherman. And I'll put a link to his channel in the description of this video. Highly recommend you go over there and look at his stuff. He's he's doing good work. Um, I don't always agree with, with some of the things he says and, and how he acts sometimes. But, you know, he's well within his rights. You know, just because somebody doesn't do things my way doesn't mean that their way is the wrong way. Okay, so let me enlarge this because I want to show you guys a couple of a little details here. Point this out. You see, here's the helicopter and it shows what direction it's facing. As you're going to see, the addresses, the GPS uh, built into their system overlays the addresses and street names and they, the 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 um, the government airplanes that they use do the exact same thing they overlay all this information so when they're tailing somebody uh, they just say well you know he's on this street he's on that street he just pulled into such and such address and they know the street names okay they know the addresses and it shows all up on video if they actually take video now they're not giving up these videos in court very often uh, with very limited um, uh, resources that I have it's difficult to find you know where they actually are using them in court but Mike through his Freedom of Information Act in Florida was able to get this video footage I'm gonna click it on so you guys can see and hear it and pay attention to the to how how close in they can zoom with these they can read from 2,000 3,000 feet in the air, they can read license plate numbers. They can read addresses. They can they can see how many people are in cars, how you're dressed. Okay, this helicopter is uh, there's an altitude here, and I don't know where it's at, but um, I can't read it. It's covered up. But this one is at 
it looks like 900 feet or maybe a little more than that. Okay, but here, let's, let me just play the video for you and I'll come back and we can talk about it here in a second. Here, we'll be switching over to SPS channel. Dispatch, 6105, 6104, 1065, 13 person, signal zero. Camouflage outfit with a signal rifle over his shoulder. Cool. Also carrying a fishing rod. Give me Marina Jacks, two Marina Plaza, Crestview Park Drive. The male subject, last seen wearing a camouflage outfit with a signal zero rifle over his shoulder. Also carrying a fishing rod. Marine 62 to 42 through the A2. 42 units responding to the 13 person Marina Jacks. Marine 62 to 42, copy. Curly here. Air 1197. 10-4. I'll head over to that area. 10-4. 3 2 2 go to 8 42 units responding to the 13 person at Marina Jacks. The 10 is a 30-year-old Hispanic male. Curly here. 42 to 8-1. You guys will see a fishing pole. Yeah, 10-4 does appear he has a fishing pole. Air 1, we're 97 at 13 P at Marina Jacks. 10 4. If he leaves the parking lot, there's no need for us to contact him. I'll be 97 in a couple minutes. 10 4. He's still walking around the parking lot, but he's uh, still near his vehicle. He may have just been putting away the rifle on the uh, fish truck. 10 4. Is he closer to the main street side or the Ringling side? If you come in off of Ringling and then go just south, he's. Uh, with, uh, 5113 dispatch. 10 4. 5113. He's now back on the sidewalk. Please, guys, we're going to have both. Okay, so pay attention. Look at this. This helicopter is, I don't know, a mile off from the target. At this point, it looks like they're right over him. But they pull off about a mile off, and you can actually look and see you know, how well they're able to zoom in. Now, the government surveillance aircraft, when they're, uh, when they're doing this, will their, their computer system, they can enhance and like highlight you and click on you, and then the computers and the cameras will automatically follow you. Okay, I'm going to stop the, the share right there because um, you guys get the general idea. But what I want to do is I'm going to put a link to that video so that you can go over and watch it and see, get the idea of the capabilities of that helicopter. And keep in mind that the airplanes that these guys, that the, the government is using for surveillance purposes are far and above what that helicopter is doing right there. I mean, I, I can't give you too much information because some of my stuff is insider stuff and uh, I have to be careful what I reveal, but I'm telling you, they are way, way more advanced than what you're seeing there. Um, and, and above and beyond that, guys, again, go check out Mike's channel. Go go look at the Armed Fisherman. He's, he is doing really good work um, and predictably, <laughs> he gets hassled a lot. I mean, a lot. So uh, that's it. Just a quick video so that you guys could, could see what I'm talking about here. I appreciate you watching. And um, I will get back to you. Y'all be safe.